this lesson we're going to learn about functions so let's open our visual studio code let's make another dart file by clicking here new file let's say function underscore sample dot dart now again let's go to the void main Now, void is what we call a return type, and we have here a main function. Let's say we have another function, and the name of our function is my number. As you can see, we capitalized the first letter of the second word, which is number, because we're following the camel casing. Camel casing is to capitalize the first letter of the second word. So in here, you can see that we have another function. Let's have another function. Let's say my display. So right now, we have three functions. The main function, the my number function, and the my display function. So in our main function, we'll try to declare here our variable x so int x is equal to 5 let's have string variable name is equal to ben and we also have int age is equal to 20 okay now uh, we have declared our variables to different data types and we also have initialized the value of each variable x we have 5 name we have ben and age we have 20. now before we continue a function is set of statements we use to perform specific tasks so in this way, by doing or making functions, we make our code reusable. That means we don't have to make code again for like computation of numbers. We just have to call that function that performs that computation. Let me show you. This main function is always going to run first when we make a program so in order to access um, different statements from different functions by logic if you want to call someone you have to call that someone by his name so here we're try we'll try to call the name of the my number function So here I have a suggestion, so I can click this one, then semicolon. Now, we already have our function. Now let me introduce to you parameters. Now, parameters, we have here the actual parameters and the formal parameters. So in our my number function, because we want to call our my number function, we can enter or place our parameters inside the parentheses. Let us say I want to pass the name and the age. Or we can pass all the three variables. So let's type here x. We can separate the parameters using comma, the name, comma, and the age. We're passing the three parameters, which in this case have values. So the values of these parameters will be received by this function. Now these parameters here are called actual parameters. We are also going to place here parameters. Our X has a data type of integer that's why we place here int. 
then we also have our variable name. Now, we can name a variable which whatever we want. Let's say we place here y, comma, because we have here three parameters that we're passing, actual parameters. So here, we also must have three parameters, our three formal parameters. So we type here the second parameter, the name has a data type here, string. So we type here, string. Then the name of our parameter. Let's say our P name, comma, and the age, P age. Now, underscore age. And this third per formal parameter here is of integer data type. So we can type here also int. So we're passing three parameters, actual parameters. We should also have three formal parameters. Now, whatever values are inside these parameters will be received in here. So then we can manipulate the values of these variables. Let's say for example, we have here int z is equal to y plus try to add 5 to that then the second one we are just going to print whatever values received from the name variable let's type here p name we are going to print also the age age p age but i want to display also a string so let's add single quote name is we have here place here a dollar sign also here age dollar sign and single quote then we are going to save after that let's type dart function underscore sample that dart so we have here name which is ben and the age is 20. okay but what we should remember in this function if we are not returning anything to the main function we should type here void this is the right practice if our function is not returning anything especially here to the main function we should type here void will it run without void yes it will run but it is not proper so we should place here void but if our function is returning name or a number to the main function, whatever is returned, if what is returned is a string or an integer, then we replace this void here. Let me show you how it's done. In this example, we are calling the my number function and passing actual parameters. But in this param uh, function, we are not returning anything because in this case after passing the parameters my number function is responsible to compute the y va the value of y and to print the values inside these variables p name and p underscore age but what if we are going to return these values? Or let's say we are only going to return whatever values inside our Z after doing this computation. Let's say we return the Z. 
Now, whatever value is inside the Z variable or the variable Z, it will be returned to the main function. However, it is red because we're returning a variable that is of what? That is of integer data type. But we place here void because when, when we use void, it means the function is not returning anything. So do not use void here. If you're returning an integer here, so we change this to the return type would be int also. Now the red line disappears. We are returning the value of z to the main function. However, we are not doing anything. Let us say you want to display whatever is returned. So it is understood that it will be returned here. Since the return type is integer and the value that's going to be returned is integer, we type here in. We can have our variable, let's say, c equals minor. Now, we are going to print c. So here, we can type print and then the return value is dollar sign C. Semicolon at the end, we control S on our keyboard, CLS. So the return value is 10. Why? Because what is pass is 5 here. Then we we added 5 to the volume Y, which, which was 5. So the result now is 10 and we return that value to the main function that is why the value of c now is 10 you will understand that our function is returning if we use the word return again if the value that we are going to return is of an integer data type then we should also change the return type So here, the result is the return value is 10. It's the same way if you want to return a string. Let's say we want to return a string, but we add another word after it. Let's say string z equals p name. Let's add another word to that. My name is P name and we add, add a dollar sign. Now again, we are returning a string. That is why we have to change also our return type string. And here, because we are receiving a string value, then we should change this to string. Save it. Let's run our program. Now the return value is my name is Ben. Now, in this code, we can make it simpler by not putting the result to a variable instead printing it directly how are we going to do that we'll just make this as comment and in here you can type here print an open parenthesis and in here a closing parenthesis let's save it let's see if the result is the same yes the result is the same 